Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. So it's been a minute. Um, sorry, I have this background, but I'm working. Um, so basically, it's been quite an intense week. Um, the video I'm going to post now is just going to be a lot of pictures um, of the week that we've had. It started Thursday with my husband's graduation from um, NMU Business School. And so there, it was a very small, intimate event. Um, I love the business school graduation. It's quick, it's short. It started at two and by half past three, we were done. It then had um, a light meal that we could eat with our partners and everything get to meet, you know, mingle. They got to mingle with people in the industry, CEOs, the big names in business. Afterwards, um, then there were family pictures that we could take. We took pictures outside as well. And yeah, that was that. Yonwaba Sipeliti. And um, my, I did post a few pictures of that on my Instagram. And a lot of people asked me about my hair. So my hair was from a YouTube tutorial, inspired tutorial that I watched. I basically buy um, hair that you do for bonding or for braids. And I use that as a hair piece. So that was my hairstyle for his graduation. Um, I had my hair all back. And with that as a hair piece, I don't know if I'll do a tutorial. I don't know if you want a tutorial for it. Let me know after you see the pictures. But um, that's not really what I do. But if it's a request, then then I can't say no, you know. So I can do that as well. My makeup I did myself. Someone asked me as well, did I get someone to do my makeup? Listen, thanks for the compliment because I'm not even a makeup artist person. I literally I do everything I've learned um on YouTube and everything. So the fact that you want to see me do my makeup, I'll do a normal makeup look, very quick, very short. I'll probably just have it in with a vlog or separate. I don't know. I'll see if it's really important. Let me know again. Then I I might even do that. And the dress um I was I was wearing oh gorgeous, loved it, loved it. Then the Friday was my daughter's birthday. So she had a little cute thing at school. Um, I'll, I'll show those pictures as well. Yana, it is. She wants to dance. Yeah. Blow, Yana, blow. Go. Blow, sister. Yeah. Yana, you must know. She wants to dance. Yes, so cute. Her whole squad at her school is just adorable. Um, she was very confused as to what's happening. She's only one. So I think she was like, mm, what's happening? Yeah. And then the Friday night was my husband's gala event for swimming. And he got an award there. So uh, um, the dress I wore, 
loved it as well it was this black and yellow dress did my same hair same makeup as his graduation um then i went out that night with friends just a quick hour i think it wasn't even an hour or more and yeah. Saturday was preparations for my daughter's birthday little celebration on Sunday at Homely Farm. Um, I also have those pictures there and a few videos that I find hilarious But overall, um, I think her birthday celebration was great. I, I Won't lie homely farm Your treatment of me over the phone not great. The place is beautiful um, The animals and the rides and just it's very interactive Especially if you want something that's interactive That's not gonna require you to be standing and talking or entertaining and feeding people. No, it was really all about activities kids playing taking pictures, you know chatting with the parents, but when I called them to tell them that I was coming and I requested if they, I could have a big table or whatever done for me the lady told me over the phone that um, I'd have to go there wait my turn that it's quite packed and there's nothing they can do for me I told her I'd called on Friday and I'd asked and I'd requested for a table or anything just so I can have a set table set place for me to sit with my people and I'd also asked if I can bring in a cake since my, it's my daughter's birthday and this lady just said the complete opposite she was like no you can't do that you can't bring in a cake but if you do bring in a cake you can't cut it you must you can only cut and eat it outside and that it's quite full when you get here you're gonna have to wait your turn um until everyone else is done then you can get a table we can't book anything for you and I was like okay so I went over there and I was very stressed I was very anxious because all my people were going there and I, how unprofessional would it look if I don't have anything booked but anyways we got there and we did find an, an open slot my husband says apparently I don't know who the lady spoke to but they ended up um getting something for us there and while we were there i think once they saw the amount of people that i had invited then they came over and brought these pink tablecloths and they started putting them on while we're sitting there i found that very unprofessional and very rude and then we did um then i got um pony ride tickets for all the kids and the babies um the man who helped us the pony rides he was not nice he basically told me that um my group had to hurry up my group first of all was Full of people of color let's start there let me just be bland about it i had blacks and colors in my group and the people that who wanted to go on the pony rides after us were white people and they were sitting on the side and he said to me after he finished the first pony ride he went by so fast he said please tell your people to hurry up otherwise they're gonna start complaining and point it towards the white people and my boss is gonna have an issue with it and I was just really disappointed and I got really mad because I'm paying. 
Why would you say that? I have the largest group there. I'm bringing in business. What does it have to do with color? Why did they have to make it a race thing? I hated that. I hated that a lot and it made me really mad. But I had to keep my composure because I didn't want my daughter's birthday to be um, dramatic. But I'm sick and tired that everywhere we go, we treat it um, differently. We get things like that thrown at us. I mean, it's my daughter's birthday. Can I not go and have a birthday? I'm bringing business to you, but I still get treated like that. That anything I do has to take, you know, it must wait because white people have first preference. Um, and so I gave the people who were in line behind us a chance. I was like, hey guys, we can just chill in the grass. Let them ride a bit one or two, then we ride in between. And the man, he literally gave rides to everyone else. And when my group was back there again, he said, no, the horse is tired. And he put it back and didn't come back for another pony ride. Although they stipulated that pony rides are every hour, he did not come back for us at all. He said, no, he cannot. And that was that. Very disappointing. Like, and I need, I need, I need it to be made aware of that. That's not how you treat people. That's not how you treat people at all this is a freaking democracy for freaking 25 years now and we still have to go through this nonsense my daughter is one she was born in 2018 but her first birthday was full of racist remarks and racist nonsense that occurred at a freaking homely farm for kids she's one are you telling me that when she gets to the age of five or ten that she'll still be going through this because i thought we were giving birth to a generation that didn't have to go through this nonsense so i was very disappointed in that and i don't care i'm gonna let them know i wrote to them i told them exactly how i feel i'm gonna post this video i don't care people need to know how you're gonna get treated so for next time when i do through her birthday i'm gonna look at someplace else someplace that actually really takes care of its people and has no racist nonsense so yeah Sunday, Sunday night, I then went out with my friend Zolek as she's leaving for Joburg on Tuesday. So it was like a farewell thing together. I really had fun. It's been such a long time since I did anything like that.
yeah man thanks guys for watching and always supporting and sending me messages and raiding me for videos <laughs> makes me feel good but yeah i hope you enjoy this segment